Well, Narendra Modi has prescribed a bitter pill to revive the economy, but that may have been an understatement given the factors that the new government is dealing with as of today. Well, Modi has made controlling inflation a priority since taking office last month, but prospects of a weak summer monsoon uh, of a weak summer monsoon rains and turmoil in Iraq have increased the risk of rising food prices and rising fuel prices. India's wholesale price inflation hit a five-month high in May, underscoring challenges facing the new government. In May, wholesale prices rose faster than expected, 6.01% as a 19% increase in potato prices during the month pushed up food inflation to 9.50% from 8.64% in April. This clearly is the new government's biggest challenge. The data dampened some of the optimism generated last week by retail price report that showed consumer inflation, which fell to a three-month low of 8.28% in May. Hopes were dimmed for a cut in interest rates and consequent foreign selling of shares helped push the rupee to its lowest level since the 6th of May. Well, Finance Minister Arun Jaitley has meanwhile attributed the rise in food prices to withholding of stocks on account of apprehension of this weak monsoon that's ahead. He's asked the state governments to take effective steps to ensure that speculative hoarding, which is so damaging to India, is discouraged. The Finance Minister has said that the government is committed to taking measures which will positively impact the GDP and result in higher growth than expected. He added, Arun Jaitley added, the government is watching the movement of the rupee very closely. The slight instability of the rupee is essentially because of Iraq oil shocks and global fear of the oil price rise. And that's something that's going to be looked at very, very closely, even because of the situation in Iraq.